All right, with me today, we have Gabrielle Kaplan. She is a user experience researcher at Atlassian. She did her Bachelor of Psychology and Honors with UNSW a few years ago, and is now nearing completion of her Master's of Interactive Design. Sorry, it's Master's of Interaction Design. I don't even know what that is. So we're definitely gonna talk about it. All right, hello, Gabrielle. Thanks for being here. Thank you, yeah, happy to be here. So starting with where I'm working, so I'm working at Atlassian, which is a software company. Um, so essentially we do research for our in-house software. So I don't know if you've used tools like Jira, Confluence, Trello, yes. um, those are Atlassian software. So one of the projects I started with when I started my summer internship at Atlassian was, it's called a top tasks methodology. So we just look at, simply speaking, what are the most important tasks to a certain group of users? So we were looking at IT teams. And we're looking at for these people, what's most important. And then from that, we can do things like create new features that um, can facilitate them, you know, doing these top tasks or change things that we have um, to better suit what their most important tasks are for, you know, people to complete their day to day. Um, and for context, I think at least half of my team studied psychology because I do, I, I do really, really think it's directly relevant. Yeah. Thinking about why, um, there's a few reasons. I think the obvious reason is understanding human behavior. And I think as any researcher in any space, I think it's so important to be able to, you know, develop empathy, be able to, you know, interview someone, but understand what they're saying and the context around why they may be saying what they're saying and things like that. Mm. But also more practically speaking, this is, this is another reason that I think is really, really important is honestly um, applying your research skills. So I think just having done my honours thesis um, and learning how to recruit participants and run a study and um, learn how to design studies appropriately, understand the right research methods, analysis methods, methods, and being able to write that up and communicate that to other people is exactly what I do at work. So you're choosing to continue studying and I would love to hear a little bit about what you do in a master's of interaction design. Okay, so to break it down, it's research and design. So it's definitely a combination of the two. The key part of it, which I think brings all of my subjects together is that it's all about human-centered design. So yeah. making sure that, you know, the person or the user, whoever's using whatever the technology is, that they're at the center of what you're designing for. So you're not doing it to align with business goals. You're not doing it to align with, you know, making money or being profitable. You're doing it so that it's making it the easiest and best experience for whoever's using that technology. Um, which is something that I think is awesome. <laughs> what kind of person would really enjoy and really thrive in that kind of field? I think lots of people, but um, I think honestly, anyone who's interested in how people reason in human cognition and kind of developing empathy and people who like interacting with people every day, because obviously running interviews and qualitative research like that is really fun and you're meeting all these new people and trying to understand and empathize with them. So I think that's something that if, if you're the kind of person who likes that, it's a really nice space to be in. If you could today, who you are today, if you could turn around and give yourself a piece of advice, you know, a piece of advice to that, that version of you when you were in school and a bit anxious about what was going to come next, what advice would you give yourself? I would say slow down, it's going to be okay. And there's actually, you have your whole undergrad to explore what you're going to do. Honestly, don't rush into thinking that you need to like tick this box or do one specific pathway because that happens to be what everyone else is doing. Keep an open mind and just continue exploring opportunities and speaking to anyone um, about what they do and just reaching out to everyone um, to kind of find out what's out there. I think that's a huge comforting thing mm. and I think just not boxing yourself into one thing or the other is really awesome because you just don't know where you're going to land up um yeah and just remember that there are kind of other opportunities out there that you might not even know about right now but might just come up in conversation um in the future yeah yeah that would be it <laughs> I think that's great advice awesome yeah <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. This has been eye-opening for me. I learned about a master's degree I didn't know of before I talked to you. I'm even more excited to learn more about the UX space. So this has been really helpful. Thank you so much for being here and chatting with me. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. 
All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.